man. Your perception of me is a reflection of you. And my reaction to you is a is an awareness of me. So, do you ever find out in life that people have a bad perception of you? They don't like think about you nicely or they, they criticize you or they accuse you or they, um, they try and put you down or paint you to be some sort of bad person, so to speak? And they, and, or do you ever have a reaction to them? Um, or, or are you being this like person having negative perceptions of other people? Like judging them and calling them names in your head or else even writing to them or speaking all these like negative, critis- critical, judgmental words to them? Um, and sometimes that's necessary a little bit just to be like a boundary can be necessary but not in a critical type of way where we're perceiving them in a certain way. So. And so then there's also our reaction to these people, or if it's their reaction to us, our reaction is, um, it's, 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 um, our reaction shows where we are in life. It shows our awareness of ourselves. So, um, in my own life, I found in in the past, I used to react like really, mm, it used to create a lot of like more disharmony in, in my relationships, for example, it was most shown or in my relationship with my mom, or else in my relationship with my proper like romantic partner. Um, because that's who I spent the most time with. Um, so in the past, I, I would react in a certain way, or um, even if I thought I was being really like conscious or aware and like careful, I just I didn't know enough information and knowledge about how to t- tackle the situation. Oh, look, a bee. A bee often landed on my leg. And um, it's funny that it joins in this video because like, I love animals and there's no need to be afraid of insects if we're giving them positive reactions. So this is an example, okay? If I had got all upset and attacking it or swiping it, it would have reacted to me by trying to sting me or run away to defend itself. So that's actually funny because I actually am talking about this in the video. So like, this shows my own awareness and knowledge of that the bee isn't dangerous and it shows my fear level because if I was afraid, um, I'd try and hurt the bee and it could sting me. So there's a lovely bee here on my arm and like in the past I'd be afraid and run away and now I love them and I let them land on my, I let the bees land on my uh, my arm now. So so um, yeah, um, in my life I have some people who have a, a ne- very negative perception of me. Maybe I can think of one person in particular, but this isn't anything got to do with me um, because like our perception of someone is a reflection of us and their perception of us is a reflection of them so for example let me tell you this okay in the past i used to feel i used to perceive people like negatively and um, some people who are giving me like challenge and at the time i'd say they are trouble they are troublemakers or like they're causing trouble and they're being i used to use the word they're being um um what's the word, Um, unconscious or whatever. I basically used to say they're like being unconscious. So, but these days I never call anyone unconscious. Like, I don't like to say that, you know, like it is a descriptive word and it can be accurate, but the emotion or the feeling deep inside of me, I usually don't use the word. I try not to use the word. I try and like have a very loving, compassionate approach to how I talk about people and how I think about or feel about people. And I welcome everyone to share this video at the moment with any of your friends or family or loved ones or your social media while I'm live or even after watching it. Just, you know, it could help them if you feel like it. Um, these days I talk about people lovingly, like with compassion and like I validate them. Um, I, I, I feel and think thoughts and feelings like I approve of you. I love you. I, you're right. You're accurate. Um, you make sense. Like you have a point. Um, you're, ju- I just, you're justified in thinking and feeling these ways towards me, because we all have a perceptual reality. Everybody, like what you perceive to be true, is true for you. That's your perception. So for you, it's true. And for me, I could think something different. And in my perception, that's true for me. So we all have a different perceptual reality. So like, you know, I could say today is warm, but. That's my perception. That's my feeling. And you could say, a mm, bit chilly. And I can't say you're wrong. For you, it's chilly. And for me, it's warm. So who's right? No one's right or wrong. Like, sometimes, like, of course, you could say, if I perceive, like, 
if I perceive this to be a leg and really it's a hand, you could try and argue like it's really a hand, but at the end of the day, some people aren't open to changing their perceptions or beliefs. And some people are. But what I found in my life is, in the past I used to, I used to become righteous and I'd have this feeling inside of me like, I'm right, you're wrong. Um, and there was a sense of judgment or criticism or disapproval. So that was that. My perceptions and feelings and words didn't tell you about you, they told you about me. So how we act is a reflection of us. It's not a reflection of what's going on on the outside. So in this video, like what I hope and would want and intend is that we become aware of our own judgments and thoughts and disapprovals or validations our own programming beliefs and judgments and belief systems, our own words and especially our own thoughts because everything I just said there comes from our thoughts and beliefs basically speaking. So our own mind and programming basically speaking. From the subtle, from the subtle thoughts and energy, the vibration becomes the outward words and actions which are the, the gross or heavy materialistic stuff, you know? So, um, so, um, if you feel bad, let me try and get practical in, a, in an exercise almost. Like, think about someone who you feel bad towards. Like, who, who, who has upset or hurt you lately, okay? Now, even when I use the word hurt you, like that, that seems to act like they're to blame and you're a victim of what they did. They did it to you and you're just a hapless, helpless victim. But, like somebody said wisely once, no one can hurt me without my permission. So, for example, it's up to us if we get hurt or not. Like, it's ultimately deep down, but we all have to learn how to practice this more. So it's just like practicing tennis or practicing anything. We have to take some inner, like, dedication to practicing growing up on the inside and becoming more aware. So, like, for example, 15 people could stand in a line, okay? And someone could, I could hire someone to come along or ask someone, say, come along and say to everyone, you're ugly and I don't like you. So let's say, like, if someone was that to me, I probably wouldn't really care too much. Like, but if it was, let's say, it was my my mother, then it's harder. Like, you know. But still, so f out of the fifteen people, some five, like eleven people could be really upset, and four people could not care. So it's not what happens on the outside; it's how we perceive it. And let's say I let's say I perceive that person to be, oh my God, you're a horrible person. Like, what's wrong with you? You shouldn't be saying that. Like, you're wrong in saying this, and you should be better than this. You should know better. I, that would make me feel upset, because that's my own perception of them. I'm actually judging them, and I'm invalidating them. But where I am now in life, I'd validate the person and say, okay, there's a good reason why you're feeling or saying this. And um, I could have the feeling or the idea, like, I approve of you. Like, I acknowledge that you're feeling or thinking this way. And, you know, if I was you, I'd want someone to understand me and uh, that's called validation like um, it's instead of criticizing them you're empathizing instead of hating you're more loving instead of uh, instead of trying to make them into a really bad wrong person who's not good enough and they should be better or know better or be nicer um, we're not doing that we're having more compassion instead like feeling that they're hurting or that they're lost or confused or, or maybe, maybe you might have accidentally said something or done something that they felt very upset by. So, one way is hard and like, like enemy, like an enemy reaction, and the other way is more like love and compassion, soft. Like, usually our soft nature comes out more so with with children, typically, or if somebody has an accident on the road, we want to help them, but. Except for these moments of disaster where we want to help strangers, where we're, we're very like loving and compassionate, or even children, um, we give children the benefit of the doubt, like they don't know better, like they're still young, they're still learning, they're still growing, they don't know necessarily better. And we're more likely to have compassion and patience. But with adults, we, 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 we somehow have lost this idea that, like we think adults should know better. Like where does that come from? No one should know better or be better than the way they are. We're all on a unique journey. Uh, we all are where we are and what I'd like to say right now is like I am where I am 
And you can say this to yourself. So here's another like, let's let's get practical again. Let's let's make a little like workshop out of this, so to speak. So what I invite you to say right now, okay, is first of all, deep breath. Let's say this to ourselves, okay, everyone? Let's think this. I love myself. I love you. Think of someone who you might have a hard challenge with at the moment, okay, where there's hurt and pain involved, or there's anger and sadness. I love me, I love me, I love you. I approve of how I'm feeling and the way I'm thinking. I approve of the way you're feeling and the way you're thinking. Even if how I'm thinking or how you're thinking may not be beautifully, perfectly angelic and, <laughs> you know, and I accept myself and all of my, my perceived flaws or weaknesses or areas of not knowing stuff, lack of absence of knowledge. I accept you in all of your areas. Think about this for the person who's, you're hurting with, okay? I accept, love, and appreciate and understand you. I want to understand you where you are in your life. And I accept and approve of your feelings and thoughts and where you are in your journey. I will not demand of myself or yourself to be any different than the way you or I am. I, I, I acknowledge and respect that we both have feelings and there's a good reason for how we feel and think. We have both had pasts in our lives. We come from a past experience. And it's because of this past experience of, of belief systems, programming, conditioning, and hurts, pains, and disappointments that we think and feel and react and act a certain way in our life. And that's okay. I, I allow and accept this to be the truth and the case. And I wish to have love and compassion on each other, myself and you. Even though I think you may have been wrong in the past and all that sort of stuff, and I'm right and I'm better and you're wrong and you're worse and you should know better or I should know better or I should have been better, I allow this to dissipate and relax and release. Gently compassionately softly love and compassion on all of us me and you no one is the way we are not we all are the way we are but we're always changing so there's a positive potential to change in the future I acknowledge this but change in the future won't come now from disapproval of myself or you if I keep fighting with myself or you and judging and condemning and criticizing and being harsh in my thoughts and beliefs about me or you, then positive change won't be easy to come about in the future. There will only be name calling and, and blaming between the two of us. Me to me or me to you and maybe you, to, maybe you against me. We all so we have to let that, let that go. Deep breath. It is from this place of soft, gentle, loving compassion and empathy and understanding and relaxation and allowing each other to be who we are and how we are and all of our flaws, blemishes, if you want to think this way. I don't even call them flaws or blemishes anyway. They're just the way we are. We're just like children. We don't know stuff, loads of stuff. So it's only with an open, humble, questioning mind, asking people or just being gentle, you know. That's how we make positive that's how we allow and facilitate positive change in each other in life everybody so just talk and think this way allow all this stuff okay so this is going to transform your energy and it's going to transform other people's energy and when you transform your energy other people will feel it and see it deep breath so my getting back to the quotation my reaction is an awareness of me so all of this now is creating awareness in our in ourself so we can re react react or respond better nicer and create lovelier relationships everyone deep down beautiful healing between people we have conflict with and our, our loved ones our exes our parents our family our friends even strangers 
when the minute you can validate and say, yeah, you're right, you're like it's okay the way you are. I, I validate you and I accept you the way you are in this moment, and I'm not going to be belligerent and against you and judging you to be to, 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 to treat judgment as everyone that beneath all conflict in yourself or others with others is the judgment that they're me or them were wrong, we or they are bad, or we or them is not good enough. And then from this other, from these three judgments comes the third thing, the fourth thing, which the the, the the judgment, the idea that you or the lie should be better, gooder, uh, more right, like le- less wrong, less bad, less good. We should be, we should know better. We should be better. We should be different, and we should be the way you should be the way I want you to be. <laughs> That's the funny part of it, everyone. So uh, yeah, beneath the judgment, you're wrong, bad, or not good enough in some area. You're not good enough for listening. You're not good enough for talking. You're not good enough for expressing yourself. You're not good enough for sharing with me. You're not good enough for, like not judging me. You're not good enough for being relaxed. You're not good enough for this, that, the other. You're not good enough for everything. You're not good enough for everything. Like, you know, beneath all these judgments is that you should be different. You should be better. You should be the way I want you to be. <laughs> you should be who I want you to be. And like, are we being who others want us to be? So when we let, when we acknowledge these judgments and then the idea that we or somebody else should be different or better, and you know. When we release this feeling, everyone, when we let go of this resistance and this tension, there's a Chinese proverb, tension is who you think you should be. Deep breath. Relaxation is who you are. And I love that quotation. I love it. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Somebody asked me what books do I read. I don't read any books for ten, like 10 years. I just reflect on my own life, my own judgments, my own thoughts, my own beliefs, my own actions, my own behavior, my own habits, my own impulses. And I look at some YouTube videos, like uh, Abraham is my favorite on YouTube. That's my, they're my favorite, Abraham. Abraham channeled by Esther Hicks. I also like a bit of Bashar, but I don't really listen to them anymore, really. But Bashar is an awesome channel being also on YouTube. I also like a tiny bit, a tiny, tiny bit of Teal Swan. I think she's very good too. Um, yeah, I love my own videos. Like I listen to my own videos. That's how I listen to. It also, I, I like. I love my own energy. Oh, I love animals. Animals, animals, and nature and children are my teachers because they are free. They don't have reactions. They don't have negative beliefs. They don't have programming and conditioning, and they live in the moment. And their inner child is free. Um, they have a quiet mind typically. Um, um, and. They're more likely to have love and compassion instead of anger and being an enemy. So, children, plants, and animals and nature. Children, animals, and nature are my teachers. Deep breath. And fruits are my friend. Fruits put you in a really good mood too. And nature. Petting an animal, petting a cat. Uh, touching a tree, kissing a tree, they'll all help you so much in life. Okay, so moving on. Um, Anne says wisdom. Thank you, Anne. Vicky says heart. Thanks, Vicky. Welcome to everyone who's watching. Okay, Ma- Malachi says love your. Oh, thanks, Malachi. Love your energy. Thanks very much. And Jennifer says I'm intending to see people where they are or see people aware. So it doesn't matter how people are ultimately what matters is our reaction and our perception of them everyone I found this out in my own life and it reminds me of Krishnamurti he used to say on his deathbed like somebody asked him it's a famous Indian philosopher and spiritual teacher somebody said to him hey Krishnamurti what's your secret to life like how did you, what's your secret and he said I don't mind what happens and that means no matter what happens he's going to approve and validate and agree, agree, not outwardly agree, but inwardly agree. And when you inwardly agree with your heart and mind, then you can outwardly talk if you have a different perspective or you want to touch somebody or reach somebody. It's only when you agree inwardly can you touch someone outwardly. Can I ask you a question, everybody? Have you ever forced someone or pounded them into submission to agree with you? Of course you haven't. (laughs) It's only when you agree and you soften up your energy and love them, open your heart, that's when you can touch them with your words and energy. And then they may change. You can never force someone into submission into agreeing with you or loving you. You can't force someone to love you. You can't force someone to agree with you. So the more you resist, the more they're going to resist. So that's really interesting, isn't it? So this is what I'm talking about. 
when you soften up your energy, when you release all the judgments and all the shoulds, and, sh and you shouldn't be this way, you should be that way, or I shouldn't be this way, I should know better, I should be this way, let go of that. Like, let, affirm or think to yourself, okay? Deep breath. Deep breathing is like so powerful, everyone, when you're in a conflict or stress. Breathing slows the pace of stressed talking and stops the pace of an argument. It allows you to stop an argument. Ah, deep breathing, it's very relaxing and it quietens your mind and it brings more peace emotionally. So I can't recommend relaxing and breathing deep enough. Okay, so Emily says, lovely message. Yes, be gentle, it is so welcoming. You suit your hair this way. Thanks, Emily. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the beginning of the video, the beginning quotation. Your perception of me is a reflection of you. So if someone, if someone speaks bad words about you, and um, if they have rumors about you, or they start being all like nasty or mean to you. And nasty is a judgment, so like I don't even like to say that word, but if, they, if they're upset and sad and in pain and they speak words about you, um, can you see how when I use those words it's more of a compassionate feeling instead of a judgment that they're bad, wrong, or not good enough? It's very interesting, isn't it? So that's, that's a reflection of their hurt and pain and belief systems and where they are at in life. And how I respond to that is a reflection of me, where I am at in life. So my perception of them, how I view them is a reflection of me. So that I, if I view them as like a horrible person, they're flawed, they're, they're just bad, they're, they're wrong, they should be different. That's a, that's a reflection of me. That shows who I, how I am, where I am at in life right now. It doesn't show you who I am because who I am is always changing. We aren't like a good person or a bad person. We're not like a wise person or an, an, an unwise person. We're a mixture. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a scale from here to there, from white to black and red, blue, green, Richard, like red, orange, yellow. Deep breath. It's not a black or white switch. So how I feel towards people is a reflection of who I am at this moment in life. So if you look at your own, here's a workshop again. Let's participate. Ask yourself, do you feel bad towards anyone in life? Um, who are you feeling bad towards? Uh, what are your judgments of, where are you judging them to be bad, wrong, or not good enough in? What areas? Or as a general whole person even? And where are you thinking that they should be different or shouldn't be the way they are? So when you start validating them, like I've described in this video, you're going to open your heart and think softer thoughts and feelings towards them. So that's a perception of where you are at in life. And it's an awareness. It shows you the awareness you have of yourself, which is the quotation at the beginning of this video. So anyway, in my life, I used to have much more anguish, pain, hurt, stress, not knowing how to, what to do or how to respond or or else I just respond and react, and it just causes more pain and heart, disharmony and suffering. Deep breath. These days I can, I can, I can be quiet. I can create a little bit of a space. And I don't have to try and make, tell them that they're wrong and they're flawed or wrong in some way. That they should, they're not thinking correctly or they're perceiving me wrongly. I don't even have to try and force them to perceive me correctly, in my own opinion. For example, someone could say, Hey, why are you so angry at me? Why are you, why are you always giving out to me? And you could have just said something like, um, I don't know, um, you're speaking a little bit loudly. I don't know. Or you could say, I'm tired, or someone can think you mean other things, and that's called t making assumptions. So people often, and me too, like I'm a person, so I often make assumptions of what people mean, and often it's wrong. So these days I'm learning more. I'm learning more to ask them, is this what you mean? 
and if I'm if they tell me, if I assume something and then they say that's not what I meant and then I say I'll try say like sorry I, I misunderstood you and I'd, I'd like to hear what you meant so I can understand you better I'd like us to get on well and have peace and love in our life and in our relationship together um, so Cynthia says I don't feel bad about certain people but I do not feel happy around them yeah that's a good point to make deep breath yeah some people have a certain energy and the more stressed they are the more they don't like us and they have this feeling then we might not like their energy too much we don't have to be everyone's best friend or to be around everybody but when we love them in our heart and think about them a certain way then we'll have peace and love in our hearts and that's we carry our heart around us wherever we go we carry our vibration with us wherever we go so we have to live with it so if we hate someone everyone that we have to live with the hate that's that's a that's a negative presence to us it's a bad gift to give ourselves to try to have hate in our hearts to have a closed heart is is not a bad gift to them it's a bad gift to us we live with ourselves every minute of every day so we want to have as much love and light and white energy in our field like peace and love and you know that type of feeling freedom peace and compassion they all feel really good to us so there's no point in like holding on to things we may as well let go of stuff as much as possible for ourselves and to other people okay everyone i feel i've explained this well enough in this video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've loved it i appreciate you i love and appreciate and respect you where you are in life please don't start thinking stuff that like you're bad wrong or not good enough or you should be different or you shouldn't be the way you are you should be the way you are because of your past i should be the way i am because of my past it makes perfect sense because of all of our experiences programming trauma beliefs pain experiences in relationships experiences in life all of our letdowns all of our disappointments all of our mental habits because of all of this that's the way we feel and think the way we do so we should feel that way it makes mathematical sense it's logical it's rational it makes it has reason we should be the way we are and we shouldn't be any different and so shouldn't anyone else be any different than the way they are but with an awareness of all of this we can change and we can change positively faster with an awareness of all of this too so remember when you approve of others inwardly that's when you that's when you can touch other others and change them outwardly touch them outwardly have have love and compassion on ourselves and each other it's from a soft place inwardly that we can touch others but we can also have a divine masculine power, divine power and strength. And But when we combine the, the power and for, the strength, if you want to call it a, a power, powerful energy, of like a forceful, powerful energy of inner, 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 inner masculine, divine masculine, we can, when you combine that with what I'm saying in this video, with love and compassion and understanding and empathy and approval on the inside and, and gracefulness, that's when we have a beautiful power to manifest what we want in life and in relationships. None of this video is talking about being a walkover. It's not talking about not taking action. It's about talk, taking beautiful, powerful action, right action, as the Buddhists say, from a place of centeredness and inner alignment with who you truly are, which is who you truly are is everything I've been describing in this video, which is something along the lines of like being uh, like your higher self or angelic or a higher being, you know, of, of love, light and wisdom and awareness. So that's it. So I hope you've liked this video. Please feel welcome to share this video. Um, for anyone who'd like to book any one-to-one -one consult, any personal consultations with me in your relationship, in your family, one-to-one -to, -one, um, to help you to heal and learn, grow and expand, and to manifest the life that you truly would like in your heart, then just drop me a line, inbox me, and or check out my website owenfox.org. Um, and I also have another website called HigherSelfHerbs.com, which is where I sell herbs, um, which have helped me a lot in my own life too, physically, mentally, emotionally, um, energetically. So I love to work with people, so please do contact me if you have any inquiries. And it's my passion and my purpose to help people and to work with people and to help people to heal and create the life that they truly want in their hearts and to set their inner child free and to have fun and be happy and playful in life feel love and just to connect with nature and to connect with each other connect with ourselves and to connect more intimately with animals and our families our 
romantic relationships or partners or parents or children or siblings or friends and strangers and the more you can validate and love and approve of strangers and people inwardly the more happiness fun and playfulness and jokes and laughter you're going to have with everyone too so that of course is a huge massive enormous bonus of everything that i'm saying we're talking about more whistling and humming and being happy and living in the moment as a result because when you can make peace with all of this you've less stress in your mind you've less stress in your heart and you're able to live in the moment more and uh, you're just able to really enjoy life so much more and there's no greater blessing everyone than living stress-free or low stress and having peace of mind and having love in your heart and then having joy and living with your inner child alive also that's it so that's beautiful so okay everyone that's the end of the video so love you loads and uh, thanks for everything and uh, appreciate you keep being who you are and uh, keep changing into who you're going to be and that's the that's the, the fun of life because it's a constantly changing forward moving experience of change and growth and expansion okay see you everyone take care lots of love bye